Yo, this is the Manic Miner build. It's going to be a level 150 strength, dexterity, quality build, but we are going to be doing so much damage, as you can clearly see. You guys are going to absolutely love it. I'm going to take you through everything you absolutely need to know for this build, where to get all the gear, how to max it out, and how to do all of this damage. So, let's get into it. I came across this build from somebody in my comments section who said the pickaxe was actually a very overlooked weapon, so I decided to check out the pickaxe for myself, and they were not wrong. The pickaxe is one of the best dexterity strength weapons in Elden Ring, and its stagger potential is out of this world. If you just apply the few things that I've put together for this weapon, it's going to be an absolute beast. You are going to be staggering enemies in one to two hits, and the damage that's locked behind it is incredible. So let's get into unlocking some of this damage. First and foremost, the pickaxe. Let's talk about it. So the pickaxe is going to be a quality dex and strength weapon. It is going to have a physical damage of 278 plus 375, and it's also going to have a strength scaling of B and a dex scaling of B because I have put a quality Royal Knight's Resolve on this weapon. Its attributes required are going to be 22 strength and 10 dexterity, so it is a very early game obtainable weapon, and you're going to be able to find it within Limgrave from the miners within the Limgrave tunnels. It didn't take me long to get a second one because I'd already had one, so if you give yourself a little bit of farming time, about 10 to 15 minutes, you should get this no problem. Now, obviously, we are using two in this build, but one is equally and also really, really good to use because its charged R2 almost gives you an insane amount of hyper armor because you're going to hold the pickaxe above your head and then slam it down on your enemy. And I've had it where I have broken stances with one hit with this charged R2, and when you're adding Royal Knight's Resolve on top of it, you're going to add an extra 80% damage for the next swing, which is insane. So moving into our Flask of Wonders Physic, we're going to be using two tiers that are going to complement this build very well and allow you to add more damage and stagger onto your pickaxe. So, we're using the Stone Barb Cracked here, which is going to temporarily make Stance Break easier, and we're using the Spike Cracked here, which is going to boost our charge attack power. The Stone Barb Cracked here is going to enhance our Stance Damage by 30% and our Stamina Damage to blocking enemies by 30%, and the Spike Cracked here is going to give you plus 15% charge attack power. Now, if you want to find either one of these tiers, the Stone Barb Cracked here is going to be located in Eastern Kaelid, right next to the Minor Ur Tree after defeating the Avatar, and the Spike Cracked here is going to be located in the Mistwood along with the Green Spill Crystal tier at an altar near a minor Ur tree here on the map. And guys, if you're finding value in this type of content, hit that sub button. I don't have to tell you what to do. You're a grown person. Figure it out. Hit that sub button and the bell notification so you know when I'm making more videos. I absolutely love what we're doing right now as a community. We've hit 15,000 subs here on YouTube within this year. Super dope. Thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video. And now, let's get right into the talismans. Now, as far as your talismans are concerned, you're going to use four that synergize very well with the build. The first of which is going to be the claw talisman. This is going to enhance our jump attack damage by 10%, which is going to also stack with one of our armor pieces, making this go together very well. The next talisman is going to be the Great Jar's Arsenal, which is going to vastly raise your maximum equip load. You're going to gain an extra 19% equip load from this particular talisman, and considering we're wielding two pickaxes, this is going to allow us to do that with ease. And for our talisman slot number three, we're going to be using the Axe Talisman, which is going to enhance those charge attacks by 10%. This is going to stack with one of our tiers, allowing us to get a 26% attack power boost to our charged attacks, which is very beneficial for our build. And lastly, we're going to be using the Viridian Amber Medallion plus two, which is going to vastly raise our maximum stamina. This will give us a plus 15% max stamina, and considering we are going to use a ton of stamina while we're jumping and dual wielding pickaxes, this is going to benefit us a lot. Now, if you want to get any one of these talismans, the Claw Talisman is going to be located in Stormvale Castle. It's going to be on top of one of the ramparts there. All you're going to need to do is do a little bit of jumping parkour to get to it, and then climb up a ladder, and you should be able to snag it for yourself. The Great Jar's Arsenal is going to be a reward from the Trial of the Great Jar right here on the map in Kaelid. You'll have to fight three separate invaders, each based off a real person. If you can kill all three of them, then you're going to be able to get this. And then the Axe Talisman is going to be located in the Mistwood. This will be here in Limgrave on the map. All you're going to need to do is walk down some stairs. Just make sure you don't wake up the Rune Bear. And lastly, the Viridian Amber Medallion plus two is going to be located in Mikola's Hallig Tree. So this is a very endgame talisman, but you can get the very first version of it in the Tomb's Ward Cave. It's a small dungeon within the Weeping Peninsula. Now, when it comes to the armor for this build, I will say right now, what I'm wearing is not going to get me over the 51 poise mark. Right now, I have 41 poise but I wanted to get the armor to match, and it's very hard to match the Raptor's Black Feathers, so we're going to be using the Black Knife Hood, the Raptor's Black Feathers, the Knight's Cavalry Gauntlets, and the Knight's Cavalry Greaves. All of this is going to give us 41 poise, like I said. As long as you get over that 51 poise mark, you can wear whatever you want. If you want that extra 10% jump attack damage, the Raptor's Black Feathers are definitely going to be the way to go, because that's going to stack with your claw.
ball talisman, allowing our pickaxes to hit a ton harder as we jump. If you want to get any of these items, the Black Knife Hood is going to be located from the Black Knife set up in the liturgical town in the Consecrated Snowfields. The Raptor's Black Feathers is going to be located in the Sage's Cave in one of the chests. And the Knight's Calvary Gauntlets and Greaves is going to be located in the Consecrated Snowfields at night by two separate Knight's Calvary that are guarding a carriage here on the map. I do feel like, however, though, this set matches really, really well. And even though you're not getting over that 51 poise mark, it still is awesome. And you probably don't need to get over the 51 poise mark considering you are staggering everyone before they can really hit you. Now, some final thoughts for the build here before I let you go and show you my stats. You can use Stormhawk Den if you do you want to use summons, and that will give you a fantastic buff on top of everything else we already have going on. It's going to give you some stamina damage, some stance damage, and it's overall going to allow you to hit a lot harder and break stances very, very easily. And when it comes to this playstyle, this build actually does work whether you want to single wield the pickaxe or dual wield it because you have two different options, both of which are going to allow you to do a lot of damage, stagger a lot of enemies, and really get a lot of criticals off on a lot of bosses. Now, if you want to look at my stats, I'm currently level 150. My main stats are going to be Vigor, Strength, and Dexterity. I have a little bit of Endurance just because we need some to wield the dual pickaxes, but overall, you could probably min-max this a little bit more, but I'm finding I'm getting really, really great damage out of this particular build setup. If I was going to change anything, I would probably take Strength all the way to 70 and drop Dexterity down a little bit, but that's just me personally, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. I appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can know when I'm making more videos. We are about to jump into Lords of the Fallen and maintain the Lies of P and Elden Ring videos coming out as regularly scheduled videos per usual, guys. So thank you so much, and until next time, stay safe, enjoy the game, and I'll see you in the next one.